Hello, it's me Amukpi Brother back on Knowledge Science and today our topic for today is Suspensions, Solutions, Colloids, Sinking and Floating Things. So first, what is the suspension you ask? Here is a model of a suspension. If you see a salt and water, here is some salt, it's an example of a solution. When you put salt inside, see, you can see a big white blob something. If you see it, then that means it doesn't look like a suspension. Suspension, I mean solution. Solutions are meant to, to, about, to uh, about dissolve. But, but this is not dissolving. So, it's something like a suspension, not solution. But the only thing to do in this problem is to make it dissolve. But why do I call it solution anyways? It looks if it is not dissolving, then why it is a solution? In that in this case, a special tool is involved. In this case, the spoon is involved. Take, take a spoon and start mixing. Mix and mix. Uh, it will take some time for me to mix, but the only thing I can do is wait. And uh, keep on mixing until you keep on mixing. Mix, mix, mix. Keep on mixing it took a long time for me. So all you have to do is keep this up. All you have to do is just mix, 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 mix. And almost, we are almost done. Just have to do a little more mixing and done. Now, do you think it's a su suspension or a solution? Correct, it's a solution because the salt has dissolved with the water and it does not settle down. If you taste the water, it will be salty. So, now it's time to do a, sus a suspension. If you say suspension, a thing that does not dissolve. Like, for example, ink. This whiteboard marker ink that I have got. Just put one drop. Drop. What happened? Keeps on spreading. See for yourself. Watch. Watch the ink drops that fall in. Drop. They feel like they're not dissolving. Now it's time for mixing. I'll just Close the marker lid to the side. Now it's time for mixing. As I mix, the reddish color of the water disappears, but one thing is left behind. I'll show you. It'll take some time. Ah, now it's, all, it's already done. In the spoon. Now take a look at our suspension. What the ink looks like some kind of blob. See, let me take some water and one uh, blob of this. Let me take uh, this blob. See, when I pour the water, it goes along. But see, little closer, I'll just. Take it up. See for yourself. But when I pour the water down, it kind of falls and doesn't dissolve. Something like creepy mixture. Ah, here's a suspension of the ink. The ink, it does not dissolve. So next we are going to have a colloid. Uh, So we have uh, already made a suspension 
and uh, solution. Now it's time for a colloid. A colloid is a mixture. It is it kind of behaves like a suspension, but also like a solution. It's like a solution if you see with your bare eyes or naked eyes. But if you zoom in with a very very strong microscope, you can see it behaves like a like a suspension. These mixtures are called colloids. An example of a colloid is milk. So when we pour milk, see, see closely. When we pour milk inside, what? Crazy. Um, it almost behave like a suspension, but it gone like a nuclear bomb or a cloud of spreading. So a colloid, let me take my spoon and start mixing, mix, 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 mix. It kind of changes color. If you wanted to see that, you can back. If you wanted to see that, how it spread, you can play, play back or slow the video down. Uh, now, come on, see how the water changed. What? First it was clear but now it changed into the color mil milk. That means it's a colloid. So after, if you wanted to play black and see how it was going, you can slow down the video and just see how it is spreading. But now it's time for sinking and fixing. Here are some things I got, five leaves, one small bead, two marbles and two coins. Now let's start with, the mar with uh, two marbles. Let me put one marble. Actually it doesn't stay on, that's called a sink. It is because a marble has a lot of mass. Mass is contributed to uh, weight. But weight is contributed to mass because mass is uh, actually scientific while uh, weight is also scientific but little uh, homogeneous like stuff. But since it has more weight, it will just sink. Both the marbles sink. Now let's try a bead. This bead, does it have more mass or less mass? Let us see. It has less mass. But if you can slow down the video and see what happened to the bead. What? It is sinking now. Now, it sinks. But do you know why? Water absorbent thing. Now let's dry it up and do it again. First, it floats. You can see it floats the water if you put a wave it will go but the marbles don't but now keep it under water for some time it will still float but keep it for some time take some time it still floats but it was because some kind of change in mass happened. I don't know what is that change in mass called. It looks like I discovered something new. But maybe it's because of the water. Maybe it rushed in. Got, then the gem got more mass or something. But then too it can behave like both a, a, like a heavy mass object which uh, sinks. In the light of light mass object which floats but actually it's really weird that it does both the thing but it actually floats more come on keep it there now we are going to try out a coin if you can see this is a one rupee coin if i drop it it will float or sink that means it has more mass or not let us see. It has more mass. If you thought it would float, does a 2 rupee coin sink because it, it is much bigger? Let us see. 
it does sink but when I drop it it shifts it doesn't just fall down like this it doesn't just fall down through the water to the same point it's dropped at it goes and it floats this is the point I was doing it at but it landed over here what gone backwards it was just Actually, it bounced, but here's a weird thing. Uh, actually, here it gone when it was about to touch. It drifted here. Actually, it's called drifting, so it can be some kind of thing. But still, it's a sinking object. Now we have some five leaves. I got. I got. 